Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome biggity back to the channel. My name is Mark Roden. Today, we're doing something completely different than what we're usually doing. We're not doing a top 10, we're not doing a vlog, we're not doing BMX or anything like that. We're doing something that I've wanted to do for such a long time. Finally built up the audience to do one. And uh, little did I know that I had the audience for a long time. <laughs> um, we're doing, as you could probably tell by the title, we're doing a... Um, rating my followers cars now if you're one of the people that are in this list don't get offended not that you will because there's literally not a single car in this list that i don't like every single one of your cars that i like i liked i mean there are some cars in here that are absolutely beautiful and there are other cars in here that are prod they're starter cars and they're still wonderful cars if it makes you guys feel any better i drive a pt cruiser okay so it's not like it's not like i got some huge horsepower i a pt cruiser a car guy that drives a PT Cruiser, can you believe that? But anyway, if you guys want to be in one of these videos, subscribe to the channel now and stay updated on our community post. And if this video does well, I'll definitely do it again. I asked you guys to send me pictures of your cars and I got around 50 DMs. Obviously I can't go through 50 cars, so I picked 11. Um, these are not my 11 favorites by any means. There are some cars that were absolutely gorgeous I didn't put in here. I just picked 11 of the first ones that popped into my DMs. Um, with that out of the way, guys, like I said, don't get offended, please. And let's get into the list. The list? Oh my god, I'm so used to top tens. <laughs> let's get into it. Alright, so first car is uh Mr. Mr. Gabe. That's at 1UZ.gabe on Instagram. Um, and he has a Lexus GS400. I absolutely love these cars. The only thing I don't love about these cars is the fact that they didn't come in manual. Come on, Lexus, what are you doing? But anyway. He says here that he has aftermarket HID halos, Vertini, I hope I pronounced that right, 19 by 8.5 plus 15 wheels on 235, 35, 19s, polyurethane, TTE front lip, don't know what that stands for, chrome delete, which is a big plus in my opinion, because the chrome on these cars does look kind of weird, uh, and a muffler delete, oh, and BC coilovers, extreme lows, 20k slash by 18ks, um, the wheels on it. Look at the look at the wheels. Look at the wheels on this car. Absolutely freaking beautiful. I love these wheels. I've never seen these wheels before, um, especially not on a GS400. Usually GS400s go for like those big spoke wheels, and this one is just these wheels just work perfectly. I mean, I freaking love this car. <laughs> I would never buy a GS400 personally because I like manual cars, but um, this this car is is wonderful. Um, now, I'm going to do one thing that I love about every car, one thing that I would change about every car. The one thing that I would change about this car is, honestly, maybe a little more camber. I feel like I love the fitment. The fitment is perfect on this car, but I feel like these this would look just a tad bit better with a little bit more camber. Now, don't go too excessive, Gabe, when you watch this. I'm not talking like negative 20, 20 degrees, not even 10 degrees, just a little bit more. Um, but honestly... That's the only thing I can think of that I would change about it. The thing I love about the car is the fact that you did the chrome deletes, the wheels, and your fitment. I love the color, and it's very clean. Next is at 5 Door Corolla on Instagram. Didn't give me a name, so sorry, buddy. But I chose this car because I just thought it was cool. <laughs> like, I've never seen one of these in real life, at least. Uh, I'm sure I've seen them online before. But I just, I just love the fact that this is even a car. Like, this car is just kind of cool. He doesn't have too much done he does he has celica headers a magno magna magna flow muffler celica supra 14 by 7 wheels weber carb emissions delete rebuilt 22r head stock 20r block and he's gonna soon five speed with ice clutch i have it just has to go in is what he says i think that means he's gonna manual swap it i don't know that'd be pretty freaking sick if he manual swaps it but honestly i just liked this car nothing really too crazy about it i just like the fact that it existed <laughs> um the one thing i would change about the car is i can't i can't really think of uh, honestly the one thing i would change this isn't really changing it it's just just tell you i just want to tell the guy to keep going that's it i mean he's starting this build and he's doing certain things to it i think it could be an absolute beast an absolute beauty um so honestly just keep going man by the way i'm going to be saying that a lot because i genuinely do love every single car that i picked today because that otherwise i wouldn't have picked them but um i absolutely love these cars um next though is mr anthony chavez at anthony underscore chavez 27 i'm sorry if i butchered your last name man it's probably chavez or something like that and i probably got it terribly wrong 
but he has a Ford Focus ST. Um, he says it's his and his dad's, so they're, that's an awesome feeling, is the whole dad and son building process. I freaking love that. But he says it is a Fiesta ST with a DNA cap back exhaust, in-gen intake, wing risers, which I love when they do the wing risers on the STs, the H&R lowering springs and Koenig decagrams 16 by, or decagrams, I don't know how to pronounce that, 16 by 8 plus 40, um, and it's beautiful, yeah. There's not much to say about this car. Um, it's kind of still in the process. It's a build, it's a work in progress, but I honestly like it where it is, dude. If I'm being honest with you, I see these Focus STs and they always get heavily modded and then they start to look bad. I feel like with Focus STs, subtlety works best and this is subtle as hell and I love it. I just, I think it works perfectly. I don't think there's anything wrong. I don't think I would change anything about the car. Um, uh, the one thing I like about the car is, is the height that you have it at. The Focus ST is a good, as far as I've heard, it's a great Canyon car, a lot of fun to carve through corners and the height that you put it at with the wheels that you have on there just makes it seem like it's just even that much more fun. So props to you, man. Keep it, keep it up with your dad. I'd love to see that, but props to you, like your car. All right, next is Mr. Kevin Roth or Roth. I'm sorry again if I pronounced that last name wrong, at ShadowQ60 on Instagram with an Infinity Q60. And this car is freaking gorgeous. Look at this car, gentlemen. Look at this car. He has a build sheet here, and um, I'm not going to read all of it because he has crazy, crazy amounts of work done to this car. But some of the highlights are uh, airlift performance three-piece, uh, black, black diamond BD11 20x10 wheels, He's got it tuned. Um, he's got a bunch of, uh, there's so much stuff. I mean, <laughs> HKS blow off valves, AMS intakes, AMS heat exchanger, AMS carbon fiber drive shaft, AMS alpha ECU tech tune, AMS auxiliary coolant tank, AMS expansion tank. So much stuff done to the car. But this, I mean, I love these Q60s. I want to own one of these cars one day. They're absolutely beautiful. I can't believe that he's got, first of all, the money to afford a car like this and a build like this. Um, I like how the infinity emblem lights up with the headlights and the interior lights all being the same color. That is freaking sick. I love the color combination he has going for it. I, I love this car. It's freaking beautiful. I, I love how low it sits when it's on air. I love it. And um, if there's one thing I would change about the car, uh, maybe better fitment um, only because it's on air though so it's not gonna have the best fitment but also he probably doesn't want to ruin his fenders that probably costed him as much as like a whole 350z did so i mean i kind of understand why he doesn't have the best fitment but that would be the only thing i would change uh besides that what i like about the car it, i guess the thing that i like the most about the car is the whole lighting how the, all the lights match up and the infinity emblem lights up and the interior lights up and it all matches together the headlights look beautiful too I love the car, dude. Next is Chris at Coop Chris on Instagram, but an X instead of an O in Coop. Um, he's got an Infinity G35. An Infinity G35 really touches me because I freaking love the 350Z G35 platform, the VQ35 motor. Beautiful, beautiful cars too. They look amazing. Uh, I can't, I'm so split between which one I want to get. If I want to get a 350Z or a G35 Coupe, I don't know which one, but his is beautiful. I can't believe that it's in such good condition. I look for G35s all the time. They're always destroyed. And this car, it's, it's, look at the, look at this. His also his shots. Whoever's taking these photos, dude, he needs a raise because these shots are amazing. Um, I love the wheels. Oh, here's a, here's a, um, build sheet. One second. Build sheet. Nismo front bumper, Nismo grill, retro spec D headlights, carbon roof, cold air intake, spec D exhaust, MST wheels, and true heart coilovers. That's actually crazy that you can make a, a G35 look that good with just that amount of um, mods done to it. Uh, that's not that much. It's like 10 mods that he's done to the car and it looks amazing. I mean, the one thing I would change about it, I don't, um, maybe like add a carbon fiber diffuser, splitter and side skirts. I always like those on the G35s, but once again, that's personal preference. So if you don't like it, that's fine. Um, the one thing I love about the car is the wheels. It's a different for the G35s. I never see those kinds of wheels on G35s and I think it works amazing. So great job, Chris. This car is freaking gorgeous. All right, so next is KC in the cut on Instagram with two T's. Uh, he didn't give me a name, so 
that's all he's going to get. Um, and he's got an Acura Integra. And the reason why I throw this one in there, guys, I wasn't going to throw it in there. He kind of contacted me last minute. But the reason I did is because he was like, he said, I haven't really done anything to the engine yet. I'm really just going on looks and going for show right now. And I respect that. But then I looked at the pictures and I was like, this car, Acura Integra, two-door Acura Integra, look at the condition this car is in. He only really gave me two pictures, so you can only really look at this one. But look at the condition. Have you ever seen an Acura Integra in that good of condition? It blew my mind. I was actually in shock. I almost I almost went into a coma when I saw this. I was so surprised. Um, The car looks great, man. Just uh, The one thing I would change about it is I wouldn't change anything, really. I would just tell you to keep going. Like you said, it's, it's a start of a build, and it's going to be a show car. You're working on looks right now, so I respect that. Just keep going, doing what you're doing now. Uh, the one thing I like about it is how good of condition it's in uh but yeah that's it for this one i just really wanted to throw this one in there really quick next is miss cassie armsby at underscore bagged rocco on um instagram and she's got a volkswagen scirocco obviously bagged rocco um obviously it's on bags um and it looks amazing now i wish we had more Volkswagen Scirocco is in the States because I freaking love this car. Uh, she says it's stage one, 310 brake horsepower, ram air in filter, obviously air ride, back box delete, and that's it. But I think it looks amazing. Um, I love these cars. I, like I said, I wish we had more of them in the freaking States. She definitely has some different wheels on there, unless those are the stock wheels. Those are the stock wheels. Those are freaking gorgeous. But it looks great. I mean, I love... If I were to buy a hot hatch, now I don't usually like hot hatches. If I were to buy a hot hatch, the Volkswagen Scirocco would be the one. I think this car is freaking gorgeous. All the body lines match up perfectly. It's just, it's amazing. And I don't know why they stopped making them either. Like, why did they stop? They're such a cool car. They're pro pro probably my favorite Volkswagen out there is the Volkswagen Scirocco. It's also got the R on the front, so I think it's a Scirocco R. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but nonetheless, it's a great car. Uh, the one thing I would change about it is maybe better fitment um the fitment's not really all there but the one thing i like about it is the subtlety i love how she doesn't have too much crazy stuff done to it it's just low it's just she's about that low life next is mr dylan at day dj drifting my bad on instagram and he has got a 180 sx type x oh uh, it's rb25 det swapped which it's pretty freaking cool. It's got Grady B Profect 2 boost controller, work equip, 01 wheels, blitz, ZZR coilovers. And definitely a couple more things on there, unless that's the body, what the body looked like stock. If that's what the body looked like stock, the freaking 180SX is gorgeous. Um, he's in Japan, I think, because he has the Japanese plates. But dude, your car, your car's goals. Like, I want a 240 or 180, I guess. This is a 180. So bad. And they're all beaten on now, and they're just so hard to find. You can tell this guy drifts it a little bit because he has a front camber, but no back camber, which I like that. Um, it's so clean for a 180SX, too. It's just, it's perfect. I love the slanted eyes, like, look that he's got going on the pop-up headlights. I, I love the freaking car, dude. I just, it's so sexy. It's so, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's almost perfect. Like, I wouldn't change anything about this car if I had it. Um... But with that said, I do have to choose one thing that I would change. And the one thing I would change is probably different wheels. Um, I do like the wheels. I know what he's going for. It's like a retro look. And I think that those wheels work for that. But I never was a big fan of the retro looks. Um, so I would probably change the wheels. But that's pr pretty much it. Uh, besides that, what I love about the car is, once again, the subtlety and the whole, like, just, like, clean aspect of it. You don't see a lot of 240s or 180SXs clean. And this one just works perfectly. It just, it's just so beautiful. All right, so I'm sorry everybody else that made the list. I don't mean to offend you in any way, but this is my favorite one. So I saved it for last. Mr. Kevin at Kevin Ohan on Instagram. He has a BMW and that's crazy to me to say that because I usually don't like BMWs. Um, I absolutely freaking love this car. There's, when I get to the part where, oh, you got, you got to change something about it. I wouldn't change a single thing. I like how it is right now. I think it's perfect. I think it's quite literally the most perfect BMW I've ever seen. I love this car so freaking much. He says, I think it's, I don't even know what kind of car, what kind of BMW it is. because I know nothing about BMWs, 
but he said he has it's static sitting on bc that that's static okay well i didn't expect that that's static sitting on bc drop low coilovers with 24 kg springs don't know what that means i'm sorry i'm not that big of the smartest car guy ever jr 10 wheels 11 inches 245 35 19 inch rear and 99.5 225 35 19 in the fronts full carbon all around with lip side skirts duck tail rear splitters diffuser and mirror caps painted white though he painted the mirror caps white it was carbon fiber before boom smartest guy alive um i like that part that's the part that i think makes it the car that i like the best is the fact that he has full carbon all around i've always liked that the carbon splitters diffuser side skirts and then wing it always looks so good on cars no matter what car it is it always just looks perfect and on this one it worked i mean amazingly he definitely didn't cheap out on anything on the build i absolutely love it uh i also like the fact that he says he says here that he um he goes the best thing on the car to me is definitely the yellow custom seat belts that match the yellow start stop button <laughs> i love that about it dude because you're just you're so humble like that's the thing that it it goes to show that it really is the little things that mean the most in the car build like just the fact that his seat belt matches his start stop button makes him happy that's that's just awesome he also says for his exhaust he's running a 4.5 inch cat catalyst downpipe with three with custom three inch stainless steel exhaust with one apple muffler and two simone carbon tips that sounds way too complicated for me but then again he's a beamer boy beamer boys always get that freaking dude's crazy mods but anyway dude i just wanted to say that your car blew my mind when you sent it to me and you wanted to be in my video that's freaking sick thank you to everybody that made this video possible thank you for everybody who sent your cars and that didn't get in the list um i'm glad you guys watched but now back to me all righty guys well i hope you enjoyed that i certainly did i was surprised to see that my followers have such clean cars freaking awesome everybody that made this list your car is awesome some of you guys keep going some of you guys stop where you are kevin kevin with the bmw just stop where you are kevin because the car is perfect okay but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the list. If you, the list, I keep saying the list because I'm so used to doing top tens. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see videos just like this one, more of like rating my followers' cars, because I enjoy doing this. And if you guys enjoyed watching me do it, that's awesome. So if you guys want to see more like this, pretty please like the video and share it to your friends. Because if it does good in views, I'll certainly be doing more. But that's the best way for me to find out if you guys like things is likes and views. Um, comments work too if you want to comment saying please do more of these i'll do more of them <laughs> um, i'll also probably make a poll or something like that but if you guys want to be in the next video like i said subscribe to the channel so that you can stay up to date on the community posts because that's where i got these guys from i asked them to send me their cars on instagram and they did so if you guys want to be in the next video or if you were tried to send one in last time but didn't make it in the video subscribe to the channel <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for watching i love you guys we are so close by the time this goes up we probably will be at 2,000 subscribers which is crazy we're at 1,988 right now i just want to give you the biggest thank you of ever i wish i could just hug each and every each and every one of the two thousands of you out there i just wish i could just thank you thank you thank you i also just reached 4,000 hours of watch time which is mind-blowing uh i love all the support that i've been getting guys it really makes it it pushes me forward you know it, it keeps me going in life, keeps me happy, keeps me confident, all that good stuff. So thank you guys. Um, anyway, guys, Das Vidania. Have a nice day.